Well, thank you, Megan. I welcome and thank you all for joining this presentation today. I'm Pat Hines Ben Cole, and I've been a validation consultant at CSOLS for about five and a half years, specializing in validation testing and documentation, LIMS training, and support. Before this, I worked 16 years as a senior support analyst where I performed LIMS application solutions and training, and, and that was mostly with FDA regulated industries. Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and thank you as well for joining us this afternoon. Uh, my name is John Zank. I'm the Validation Services Manager at CSOLS. Uh, a little bit about my background, I've had 16 years uh, in computer system validation uh, in the FDA regulated industry, mainly in large pharma, CRO, vaccines. Uh, and it's crossed GLP, GMP, R&D. And uh, I also have experience validating laboratory and enterprise systems as well as qualifying infrastructure and networks. Okay, so this is our agenda for today. <clears throat> and we're going to look at, first, uh, five critical areas to take into consideration in order to achieve computer system validation success again beyond just writing test scripts and uh, then and with that we'll look at common mistakes in each area and suggestions recommendations to correct or better yet avoid the issue then we'll share a couple of case studies demonstrating similar issues that led to validation failure next we'll wrap up with a checklist cheat sheet kind of summary that you can refer back to to keep you on track with your computer system validation. And lastly, we'll have time for some questions. All right, so these are the five critical areas we're going to review, <clears throat> again, to keep in consideration for computer system validation. Now, as we go through each one, the common mistakes are going to appear in red, and the suggestions and recommendations will appear in blue with a little green dot next to them. <clears throat> 